Okay, I gotta replace the calipers on the back of this stupid thing and Dodge, thanks a lot for putting two different fittings on each end of the line. Anyway, so we're looking at this thing over here again, this case tractor engine and Connor's working on cleaning up the covers and stuff. Complain, complain, complain about having to get these old dried up crusty gaskets off. But luckily I told him how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is this is where you, you try and get the gasket off dry right there. Yeah, so you get these chunks and Then you get the stuff that's pressed near the it presses tighter near the bolt obviously yes. the gasket does so that really sticks in uh, So what I do is is uh, I let it soak in mineral spirits for 15 20 minutes Yeah, so we got a little tub of mineral spirits there. That we've been take, using the clean parts take the razor and you go around and boop, 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 Right around it peels it up nice. Yeah, and it does a pretty good job so you don't have as much of that. It makes the gasket supple again. So it's not dry. And then you just work it. Yeah, because when it's dry, it peels apart like a sheet of paper. Like yeah, tears. Exactly. And that's not so bad. Yeah, that's not you so bad. You don't get these giant ridges. Yep. Mineral and we ordered up the gasket kit, the new kit. Between the head, the, all the gaskets were up to what? About 240 bucks. Yep. Cheap gasket, compared to right? Case. They wanted like $1,200 for just the gaskets. And that I was comes like, with what? The, the rear main seal and the front seal, I believe, right? Yeah, it's stuff. Comes. That comes with stuff. the one gasket kit. Should have O rings for us. So we should be in good shape. Enough to get it back together. Do we want to put the heads on before we put, the, put it back in the, mo the tractor? I don't think we have to, do we? Why no, wrestle we heads? Because the tractor. The tractor's like the greatest right engine stand ever. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I want to get the tractor in here and tear down the 830 engine, put these two oil pump balancer assemblies side by side and see which one's really best, see if they're different. I think, I think they did change them a little. Yeah, I think this one's supposed to be updated and better, stronger. Better. See, this has got four oil passages coming off of it to feed to this one line, and I think the old style only has one, according to the book. So we'll see. Ah, if we'll see. We'll see. We'll see which one looks better. So where's the shims? They got five thousandths and ten thousandths in shims because they want you to set backlash. Here, oh, you put the shims back there so we don't lose them. Shims back. So we've got four tens, ten thousand shims, and we got four five thousand shims. But the backlash has a pretty big range. It's like eight thousandths to twenty thousandths, I think. I don't remember. Well, we did it. We dragged the old eight thirty into the barn again. <laughs> it's been in. It's been out. It's been in. They have. This thing ran when we got it, and then it's. Uh... To just spewed water right off it the was bat. Pushing pressure into the coolant system. I don't know if you can see it, but there's cracks in the block. These are known for cracking the blocks. Yeah, I right, think I did a video right on that at one point. Inner bolt holes. You can see those cracks. There, that one's pretty yeah. severe. So, no good. So, we think the heads are good. I'd get a Magnafux before I did any work to them or anything, obviously. So, we got the hood off. We got to start. We got the pan off the bottom. Definitely, we're not going to change the whole balancer because this is entirely different. But this pickup has got to be changed. Connor noticed that. It's shallower because this pan's shallower. It's probably going to be sitting in here at least a couple weeks, right? Yeah. Well, gaskets will be in a couple weeks, put the engine together and throw it on there, and then there'll be some fitting. But I want to hear it run before Christmas. That's my goal. So, what's the day? It's the day after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I meant next week. That gives us 364 days. No, it's, uh, what is today? 15th? Okay, Easter. Gosh. Easter? No, I want Christmas too. I think we can do it. We'll see. We pretty much got to tear off all the all the sheet. Tear all the tins off of this because we got to kind of use our engine hoist to lower this pedestal down. <laughs> There's a lot of steel in there. The pedestal's not real tall. This doesn't have a big tall spot on it. Once we no. take the radiator off, I think we'll leave this bracket as high as this bracket is where it goes it. to. Yep. Because that bracket's bolted on good. And oh, we got to do something about the power steering lines, but there's only two lines coming to it, right? It only comes from the pump. Yep. Probably. And there's the pump. Probably could just unbolt the pump. And, and from that, what I, yeah, leave that with it. Leave that with the pedestal. From what I hear, the pump is the hard part about putting an 870 motor in an 830 tractor. There shouldn't be any hard parts. No? Piece of cake? <laughs> the pump's on the other side. The water pump's different. Uh, we got some differences to deal with. So, well, we're going to get started tearing the thing apart. Yep. Well, kind of went off to work with Mark, so I'm here by myself, monkeying around with this old case tractor. Which, I'm not complaining. Anyway, I got the starter off, which was stuck on there, because that's gasketed. It didn't dawn on me before, but somehow, you know, that whole thing travels in oil. So, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure. The whole bell housing's got a gasket, everything. Because it's got the uh, casematic in there. So, I don't know if that means the starter's special, and that it's got an oil seal inside it, inside the Vendix, or what the deal is. But, 
I don't know. I don't know if that's a special starter or if it doesn't matter. You know, what keeps oil from just going right through the whole starter? Anyway, and then I took the injector pump off, which was a pain. It's hard to get behind here on these couple of bolts, but not the end of the world. I left the injector lines on because I don't want dirt getting down inside there. And I'm going to uh, tape it up, bag it up, throw it on the shelf. It's an 830 injector pump that will go on the 730 if we ever have to. Have the M sitting there. We still have to get the decals put on it. Uh, I didn't investigate. I thought Connor was going to how to put the decals on. To be honest, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how they stick on. But we'll figure that out. So we got them head to head in here at the moment. Got this old girl done. I had it running today. Uh, Connor brought it out. We used it to pull this tractor around so we could get it positioned into the garage and shove it back in. We used the back hoe to shove it in because I didn't want to... I guess we probably could have used the front of this, but just think it would be banged into the grill or something. Oh, man. I'd be crying. Part of uh, doing a nice paint job and making an old tractor like this look presentable again is not doing something dumb and banging it up when you're after you're done. So my next thing is pulling these bolts out. I cannot believe how tight they are. Now the bar I got in there, the pipe, is really heavy. It's heavy stainless steel. It's like, I don't know. Yeah, it's like eighth inch wall, maybe three sixteenths. It's not the length of the pipe that's a big deal. It's just that I don't want to push very hard. So, you know, you put a big pipe on there and then you put the, like if Connor puts all his grunt into it, he'll snap a tool off, but me, probably not. Now these were tight. I tried linking two wrenches together and I, I couldn't get them to go. Wow. Wow. Too tight. All right. Well, that broke that one loose. Woo. See if I can do this one. You know what? I'm going to go this way so I don't bang into the tractor. Oh, boy. Well, it's a long pipe on here. I don't want to break the... I really don't want to break the tool. There we go. Sometimes a little extra jerk gets them to cut loose. Let's see how it does on the other one. Now, let's see if I can just do it with the breaker bar without the pipe. Yipper! Another thing is, once I get these bolts going, I don't want to slow down and stop, because if they get hot, cool back down, they might stick. Holy smokes. Yeah, Connor said this had to come off the paint, so. You know, I always do what Connor says. As big and heavy as everything is, I'd still rather work on this than a Volkswagen. <laughs> I don't care about Volkswagens. Except for the TDI. The one I got out back. To... Look at how heavy this thing is. We were built it did a nice job. It's got nice welds on it. Yeah, I like the looks of it way better without that big thing on front. I don't know what that was for. Maybe they hung weights on it. They used this for pulling or something. I don't know. But I think we can live without that thing on front. Go get Connor's truck, hook up the trailer, and go get a, a truck I bought over at Lopatovsky's sale. So bought it about a month ago. It's been sitting there ever since. So I think I better go get it. Till next time, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.